well, I'm certainly the boob. Um, week 11, that didn't happen, did it? But yeah, look at the chaos behind me. All of that is smoke, that's not fog. Um, my last week has been turned completely upside down, totally weird, but I do have week 11 and week 12 update for you right now, so stay tuned. <laughs> So week 11, where the heck did that week go? Um, it's been chaotic around here. It's been a little crazy. Uh, if 2020 couldn't bring us another blow, um, it continues to amaze, right? Uh, so there, um, there are some really big fires that are near me. I'm not in danger of them. There are several people I know who have been highly affected by uh, the fires near me. Um, and so with that, I just kind of, uh, yeah, buckled down and just really didn't do much of anything. Um, still staying true to what, um, my plan entails and all my health journey and all that. However, um, I just took a little bit of a brain break is really what it boils down to, but I do have an 11 week update and a 12 week update. So Let's start with week 11. So uh, week 11, I had a three pound loss overall, um, which is really exciting because, uh, you know, three pounds is three pounds. And at this point, there's no way I'm going to do a six pound or 10 pound loss per week. So um, three pounds more than the one pound and the one and a half pound that I was doing the previous weeks. So the exercises that I've been doing and the nutrition that I've been taking in have been really working. Uh, every morning I've been starting with a um, chocolate shakeology shake with uh, PB2. So that's um, peanut butter, but it's dried peanut butter. So you get less fat and less calories, um, but all the flavor and it's, why is peanut butter and chocolate like the best combination ever? Anyways, it's really been awesome and it's really hit that spot. So I've been drinking that and then just striving to get my protein in every day. So my nutritionist says 60 grams of protein per day. And I've been hitting that every day. And if at the end of the day, I'm not close, I will put um, some protein powder into my water. And the protein powder that I've been using is Gene Pro. So G-E-N-E-P-R-O. Um, there's a lot of controversy out with Gen Pro. Um, a lot of people have said that there um, have been lawsuits that say that the protein content that is listed isn't actually the protein content in Gen Gene Pro, um, and to count it as half as much uh, as far as um, your goals go and your protein goes. Um, I'm not entirely sure. I haven't really done any research or looked into it. Um, it says that it's 30 grams of protein per one scoop. So that's what I've been counting it as. Um, but I'm not sure I would know the difference either way. I guess my body would over time, but anyways, I use that. It's uh tasteless, odorless. I put that in my water with a little bit of um, water flavoring and it's really great. Um, still losing hair. Um, you know, every time I go to, you know, fix my hair, there's a little bit that comes out. Um, uh, this morning uh, in the shower, it looked like a rat drop, crawled out of my drain, no joke. There was so much hair, it's insane. Luckily I have thick hair, I mean I have, I mean, and it's curly, right? So if I had straight hair or thin hair, I'd probably see it more, but because it's curly and I'm losing hair, um, see, uh, there's some more. Um, anyways, uh, since it's curly uh, and thick, usually what I do when I go to the hairdresser is I have her use these special scissors to thin out my hair so that my curls will curl better. Um, but with the loss of hair, I haven't had to do that. So it's trim only. Um, my hair isn't growing back yet, but it, you know, it will eventually. And I did contact my hairdresser and she, um, she did have gastric bypass um, about a year and a half ago. And she said, you know, it'll grow back. So I'm losing hair, rolling with the punches, but it is what it is. I'm, 
I'm going to be okay. Uh, I feel like getting healthy outweighs um, losing hair. So yeah, it'll be fine. Uh, week 12, as far as my loss goes, another three pound loss. So I've lost six pounds since I saw you guys last. Um, my heavy weight when I first started this journey was 242 pounds. And then when I went in for surgery, I was at 236 pounds. Now I'm sitting in Wonderland at 192.8 pounds. I am literally a sneeze away from losing 50 pounds. That's awesome. I'm really excited for that. Um, that's halfway to 100 pounds. My goal is a, about 112 pounds. So a little less than halfway to my goal. Almost halfway to 100 pounds. That's pretty exciting. And, um, you know, 12 weeks. So not even, it's not really technically four months yet since my um, surgery, or rather three months, because my surgery was June 24th. So September 24th will be three months. So in less than three months, I've lost almost 50 pounds. I'm really excited about that. I feel great. My clothes fit great. Um, I'm losing notches in my belt. It's just, it's awesome. I, um, my goal weight is 130 and I'm five foot four. I guess I should say that before I go on my tangents and start talking more. Um, why did I choose 130 pounds as my goal weight? Because I chose a healthy BMI um, and I wanna be in the healthy BMI range and the mid range of that is 22 BMI and that's about 130 pounds for my height. Um, when I get to 130, will I, I mean, it might feel too small to me, it might feel just right, I'm not sure. So that's my first goal. And then when I get there, I'll reassess and see what I wanna do. Um, but yeah, losing almost 50 pounds. That's really exciting. Things are fitting better. I have a non-scale victory. Um, I have, so where the top of your foot goes and it curves up and then it joins and it makes your leg that curve right there. I can start to see a bone, whereas normally it's kind of squishy. And then right about here, right between my boobs, on my, on my breastbone, there used to be a really nice thick layer of fat and you could press on it, you know, kind of like Play-Doh. It didn't stay down, but you know, it was squishy and now it's breastbone. So I don't, I can't show you cause my shirt's too high, but it's now breastbone. Um, there is still a little cushioning there. I mean, I'm still 192 pounds, right? So there's still cushioning there, but not nearly as much as there was when I was 142. So that's exciting. Um, yeah. I'm really excited about the weight loss and I'm really excited to see it here in my face and in my neck and I'm like, see, uh, I don't know if you can see, but I've got collarbones. It's really nice. They thud, which is cool rather than just kind of no sound because there's a layer on top of them. Um, yeah, it's great. I'm still struggling to get my vitamins in. I can't figure that piece out. Um, what I've been trying to do is take, so I, I have a vitamin holder. It's Monday through Friday, or excuse me, Monday through Sunday and AM and PM. So I put half my vitamins in the morning, half of them at night. And then, um, I empty out one portion and bring it with me to my office. You're here in my office with me, um, set them next to my mouse and try to take them in the morning. My problem is I'm not taking them at night. So I'm not entirely sure why not. I did them last night because I remembered, um, but it's weird because I keep them in my bathroom right next to my sink. And every night I go in, I take these wipes, I get my makeup off. Um, I usually work out at night. And so I will take a, like a nice cleansing shower at night. Um, and then my routine used to be cleansing shower, face, put on my face goop stuff for the wrinkle things um, and then take my vitamins and I haven't been doing that. So I've been doing everything else, but not the vitamin B. So I'm not entirely sure. I don't know. I don't know why. So I got to figure that piece out. Um, water is still a struggle. 
I've been taking a pre and post workout um, drink um, and it's eight ounces pre workout and eight ounces post workout. And that's been helping because you're supposed to drink that within 30 minutes um, and then work out. And then after your workout, you're supposed to drink your recovery um, within a 30 minute window. So that's 16 ounces in an hour and a half because my workouts are generally about 30 minutes. And so, and I did clear it with my nutritionist. My husband was nervous. So I sent her all the ingredients and she cleared it. Um, and one thing that's really cool is because I'm on Shakeology uh, through Beachbody, um, I no longer have to take my multivitamin every day because um, the Shakeology shake kind of covers all of that. Um, so I don't have to take the multivitamin. I still have extra vitamins that I'm taking like B12 and my D vitamins and things like that. So I'm still taking those. But as far as the multivitamin goes, I don't have to take that, which is cool because that's two um, tablets that I don't have to take during the day. So my morning vitamins, I take God, about nine. And then at night I take six or seven. So this is two fewer that I have to take. So I'm really excited about that and I don't have to buy them so I'm gonna finish what I have and then I would I don't have to buy any more which is fan freaking tastic because I'm doing the protein shakes anyways so it's nice that the protein shake has those vitamins and minerals in it and so it's it's a win-win um and I'm still counting protein shakes as liquid because my nutritionist hasn't told me to do otherwise and even at that I'm struggling to get enough water in um, so it's just weird. I don't know. I used to love water. I really like water. I flavor my water. There's really no excuses. I just, I think I just forget. Like right now I'm super thirsty. You saw outside is very smoky. So it's drying out everything. Um, hopefully we're supposed to get rain today, but we're supposed to get lightning with the rain and the rain is supposed to cause uh, flash flooding. So fires, everything's on fire. Everything in Oregon, Washington, Northern California on fire. Then we're supposed to get rain, which is great, but causing flash flooding with lightning. So I'm not sure how that's supposed to help at all. Um, hopefully the rain will help the fires and hopefully the lightning won't cause more fires. We'll see. But anyways, vitamins, water, struggling on those pieces. Um, hopefully I can figure that out. I mean, I'm 38 years old. You think I could figure out how to get, you know, 64 ounces of water in in a day and I just can't. My stomach's just too small. I'm always full. Um, but I am getting in enough water where I'm not dehydrated and um, my skin doesn't feel dry. So... Yeah, I mean, nobody's perfect. I'm not perfect. I mean, I missed, I missed week 11, so obviously I'm not that perfect. Um, and I really enjoy coming on here. I owe you guys a question and answer session. So, yeah. Anyways, um, another thing that I want to show you. <laughs> I took a video. I, I, I have a problem. Watch this video. It's, um, I have a problem. And... I want to know if you guys think that it's a problem too. Um, I definitely feel like I have something to hide. These are my hang up clothes. So if you notice, so they're here and then they're here. And so my question to you is, do you notice how many, look at this, it's, you know, I've got fleece, 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 sweatshirt, 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 long sleeve, long sleeve, sweater, sweatshirt, sweater, sweater, <laughs> long sleeve, a couple of fancy tank top thing going on, long sleeve, long sleeve, long sleeve, long sleeve, sweatshirt, sweater, sweater. That's a problem, right? It's like, come on, I clearly trying to hide something here. Uh, so I think as I go into my next wardrobes, definitely going to need to be aware that um, I am not trying to hide my arms anymore. Uh, and this is after I've already taken out the stuff that doesn't fit and replaced it with my first box. 
So I've already gotten rid of a bunch of long sleeve and sweatshirts. It's ridiculous. Definitely looking like I'm trying to hide something. And then I've got coats and all kinds of things. Um, always with a sweater, always with long sleeves. I hate it when it's hot outside. Today, I've got my t-shirt on. Ooh, my wrong parks. <laughs> Anyways, t-shirt. I wanted to wear that because I want to show off my bracelets and my tattoos. Um, so, do you guys have this problem too? Just curious. So, see... I, I, I mean, the struggle is real. I have, I have so many sweatshirts. It's like I'm trying to hide sweatshirts, hoodies. I mean, I like the convenience of having a pocket that you could put your hands into, but um, like, I feel like I'm hiding. Maybe I was hiding. Maybe after the surgery, I'm not hiding so much. Um, I've been exercising a lot um, every single day for about 30 minutes. Um, my accountability group started on Monday. So um, we have a nice group go going and it's nice because it's not accountability in that um, if you don't work out, it's a I got you moment. It's a, an accountability group where if you don't work out, I send you a text message and say, hey, what's going on? How can I help? Um, you're doing it for you. You're not doing it for me. So um Pressing play, getting off your butt, doing those workouts, um, they've been amazing for me. Uh, yesterday was arm day, the day, or upper body, the day before that was uh, lower body, and we all know leg day sucks, so the next day it was really hard to go up and down stairs and just to sit in my office chair. Uh, going to the bathroom was rough. So, uh, so anyways, I think that's really helping, and it's really contributing to my inches lost, which is really good. So as you saw, you know, losing three pounds week 11 and three pounds week 12, it is increasing how much I'm losing every week. So increasing that caloric burn, um, you know, building muscle, muscle burns fat. Um, I hear all the time, muscle weighs more than fat um, or fat weighs more than muscle, fat weighs more than muscle, that's what it is. That's not true. Fat in size, so let's say this is one pound of fat, this might be one pound of muscle. I think that's what they mean. So fat takes up more space than muscle, but a pound is a pound, right? Like a pound of feathers weighs the same as a pound of rock. Um, it's just you have more feathers to get to a pound and fewer rocks to get to a pound. Same with fat and muscle, right? So the more muscle that you build, the smaller you'll be because it burns fat and fat takes up more space. So although you're building muscle and you're building your body, it's burning the fat and then your body is getting smaller. And so um, muscle and fat weigh the same, but fat takes up a lot more space. So I think that's what people mean when they say fat weighs more than muscle because it doesn't. So anyways, I highly encourage you to get out and move somehow. Um, right now I'm not moving outside. Um, everything I'm doing is in my living room. Um, but I highly encourage you to move um, however you see fit, whatever makes sense to you. As always, I'll put my links in the notes um, if you're interested in chatting more about um, getting into a routine of working out and nutrition. But Really, the point is to do what makes sense to you and what makes you comfortable. This just happens to make sense to me. Um, so I'm doing awesome. Uh, did I tell you about the jeans I bought? I bought, a, I bought a size 12 jeans, which I started this in a very, very tight 16. So I bought a size 12 jean and they're jegging, so they're tight fit jeans and they've got holes, they're super cute. I got them at Maurice's on their clearance rack for $8.50 because they were having a sale on their clearance stuff. So that was awesome. And I'm getting to the point where I really could use another bra, but um, I think I wanna wait another 20 pounds because I'm okay right now, but bras are expensive. So I think I'm gonna weigh another 20 pounds and just, you know, hide in my sweatshirts, I guess. Uh, 
I mean, it's not like I'm going places, right? So anyways, thank you so much for watching. Um, I do see that three quarters of the people that watch aren't subscribed. It would be wonderful if you would subscribe to this channel. Um, show me a little love by subscribing and uh, hit the bell so that you can see when my videos are uploaded and um, do a thumbs up on this uh, video it would be wonderful and fantastic. And I owe you a question and answer video. So I am gonna jump off this video and do that video. So I will upload two videos at the same time. You're welcome. Bye guys.